Here's the pathophysiology of functional hypothalamic amenorrhea. This happens in women who do at least one of these things to a very severe degree. They have excessive physical training, they have a low calorie diet, maybe even starvation, they have significant weight loss, they have a chronic illness that causes them to be very thin and emaciated, they have stress and depression, which might contribute to this, and in some cases they have anorexia nervosa. When one or more of these conditions comes really, really bad, they can have a disruption of all these hormones throughout the body. For instance, you'll have a very low leptin level, very high ghrelin levels, high GABA, as well as high beta endorphins. This can result in the hypothalamus making less GnRH, which subsequently results in the pituitary making less LH and FSH, and the ovaries then make less estrogen. This results in the body being in a low estrogen state, which can cause amenorrhea, which is the target symptom of functional hypothalamic amenorrhea, as well as other downstream states of low estrogen, like bone loss.